Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian here at the Association of the United States Army's annual conference and trade show in Washington, D.C. The number one gathering of U.S. Army leaders from around the world. Our coverage here is sponsored by General Motors Defense, Bell, L3 Harris, and Leonardo DRS. And we're here on the Saffron Stand to talk to my good friend Joe Bogosian, uh, the president and CEO of Optics One, uh, one of the family of Saffron uh, companies in the United States and around the world. Joe, congratulations. You, you're going from one banner growth year to another, and it's always a pleasure talking to you each year uh, because it's really been an extraordinary turnaround story uh, from an Optics One standpoint where uh, when you joined, the company was in some dire straits, whereas now you guys are continuing to grow. It is, it is awesome to be at Optics One uh, over these past four years because we've literally gone from about 80 employees to 200 this year. Uh, the growth has been spectacular. Uh, the number of products we offer into the U.S. Uh, into the U.S. market is uh, keeps growing. The booth size keeps expanding, and uh, and we're here today trying to feature our, our newest expansion area. Um, well, and let, you're right, uh, 15,000 foot addition. So you uh, had the governor of New Hampshire expand your uh, facility recently, and you uh, guys really, uh, by harnessing all the capabilities across all the Safran companies, Vectronix being uh, a part of that as well, uh, Optics One being an important acquisition you guys made some years ago, and going from the small handheld systems all the way up to much larger vehicle mounted systems, and you guys are partnering with everybody from Moog to General Dynamics and others across the floor. Talk to us about how the strategy has been to take you from the smaller handheld systems where you guys differentiated yourselves all the way up now to the larger vehicle mounted systems. Absolutely. So first, uh, we very much appreciate Governor Sununu and Senator Hassan joining us for our, for our groundbreaking. The facility will go from 52,000 square feet to 67,000 square feet and support this expansion. Uh, what, we, what we offer, the uniqueness uh, of, of Safran Optics One, is that we offer the best in technology, best, the best expertise, whether it's our own engineers in New Hampshire or California or our, our, our French counterparts or our Swiss sister companies. Uh, we can provide a, a solution that best needs the market. So we have gone from electro-optical handheld primarily to electro-optical and inertial navigation and beyond handheld, beyond, beyond portable to land vehicle systems. And uh, talk to us about the land vehicle systems, right? I mean, you guys are uh, very interested in the next generation uh, combat vehicles. The U.S. Army is developing. Ross Kaufman is the cross-functional team lead at U.S. Army Futures Command. He's working with Brian Cummings, the program executive officer for uh, ground combat vehicles. Talk to us about how you guys are making that exp uh, expansion and the capabilities you guys are bringing to market with the product. Right, so NGCV requirements, this uh, Paseo meets, uh, meets all NGCV requirements and it has some unique, uh, unique aspects to it in that just alone from Saffron Optics One we can offer uh, a, a, a solution that's both the electro-optical and the inertial navigation. For example, if you, this is, uh, this is the night, this is the day, and this is the laser, but back here in this very small space, we integrate our own inertial navigation solutions. This is the hemispherical resonator gyroscope. This uh, three of these back here gives you navigation. An additional two other gyroscopes uh, gives you stabilization, and that's all from one one company, all packaged together, all, all working together. And uh, in a GPS-denied environment, you guys have much better positional awareness uh, for the overall system, which is one of the reasons why uh, that's uh, so key. So a lot of your uh, competitors, you know, we, we talked to Jeff Smith over at uh, L3 Harris, and one of the things that all the companies are doing is to better connect, for example, the night vision capability all the way to battle management networks. If you look at it from a Safran perspective, Safran has those battle management systems that it does for the French military. It has all the connectivity. How are you guys working at this from an enterprise, from a company-wide standpoint, to bring some of these really, really good ideas uh, from, um, you know, some of some of the French thinkers over to the U.S. market at a time when the U.S. military is really shifting to a multi-domain battle uh, management uh, approach that is actually, star, you know, hungry for solutions like this to better connect all of the individual pieces of a network together. So the DOD is very well aware of, of our capabilities here in the U.S., but they're also aware of, of our French capabilities and the French applications in, in the French Defense Forces. So they can come to us and tell us exactly what it is that they need from our French sister company, what it is that they would want us to do to, to turn that into U.S. specifications in, in, the, in the U.S. In, at, uh, at Bedford, and we can deliver anything they want uh, with, with that combined technologies. 
Um, there's, uh, you know, we, we talked about this some years ago about whether kind of an American first approach from the administration is going to have any backlash, especially uh, because of the French ownership uh, of the company, even though everybody who's working for the company in the United States is an American, as are you, as are uh, Pete Langell, uh, Navy veteran who is the CEO of Safran USA. Any sense at all that, you know, it puts you at any form of a disadvantage vis-a-vis -vis your American competitors at all? I think the way that DOD is moving these days, it, it actually is an advantage to us because we are looking, I feel we are looking for best in class globally. Uh, and if allied countries have technologies, we, for example, at Optics One, we can bring those best in class technologies from France, from Switzerland, into the US, and have it meet spe US specifications without then, uh, without then uh, exporting that, that, uh, those specifications outside the US border. Joe Bogosian, President and CEO of Optics One, uh, one of the family of uh, Saffron companies, and also uh, a good friend and a guy who knows how to find the best lobster roll anywhere in uh, New Hampshire and in New England. What is that place that we went to? What, what is that place called? Well, there's a few places, and you're going to have to call me to, to, get, to get the names because they're, 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 they're secret. <laughs> Joe, thanks very much Thank again. You. Best of luck. Thanks Thank a lot. Thanks very much. Thanks, Vago. Appreciate it.